Good news, everyone. I've got a handle on this situation. Or at least I've got a handle in my inventory, and I can use it here on the drawer for the final coat of arms piece. Excellent. Okay, so let's undo the curse for Luisa. Another jewel for the medallion. It also has an engraving, perception and intuition. By the way, that picture looks nothing like Luisa. Um, just saying. It doesn't look like her... yeah. Could it be that it will allow us to see details that we missed? Let's be attentive to our environment. Wait, what? Holmes? You're Sherlock Holmes. You're always very attentive to the environment. That's crazy. Okay, so... Yeah, that doesn't look like her at all. That doesn't look like her. Yeah, that, that looks like a completely different person, actually. Uh, yeah. In any case, perception. So we can now look in dark areas, like here. That's basically what it means. We look in dark corners and we find new items, like, oh my gosh, we found the key to the kitchen. Or, oh my gosh, we found part of James's door lock. Now let's actually go to the kitchen. Let's go to the kitchen now. The kitchen. This place will be very useful to us if we are to remain several days here. Several days in this sinister place? Oh, dear Holmes, I must confess, sometimes I have difficulties in understanding your humor. I think I remember this kitchen. As I recall, I was in the habit of stealing pastries as a child. How surreal this all seems. Very, very strange. Okay, so we've got a dark place here. Two dark places, actually. So that's a cabinet door lock. And then that is another door lock. Okay, finding lots of door locks here. This is a pot, something inside. We're going to smash it. Another door lock. Uh, cauldron. We're going to put the cauldron into place. And later on, we'll try to, like, build a fire or something here. There's another candle. Or is it jug? Is that it for this room? No, it isn't. We also have a fireplace cooker here. Okay. So now that we have all three of James's door lock pieces, let's let's go to James. He's the next Baskerville. So with this puzzle, you can click on a piece and it affects all the pieces around it. So what you want to do is just click all three of the center pieces, the pieces in the center row. One, two, three. A center column, I should say, not center row. Uh, James Baskerville yeah. was a doctor and a renowned surgeon. He graduated from the prestigious Royal London Medical School. According to my uncle, he spent much time performing medical research on animals. No doubt that he wanted to exploit the weaknesses of the beast that threatened his life. Supposing this beast does exist. I begin to doubt that a man, however wild he might be, could be the source of these murders. I don't know. Is the Hound of Baskervilles real? It, it, it is kind of far-fetched to say there's a ghost dog that's been haunting this family for generations. However, we have traveled through time in this game. So, yeah, once, once you do time travel and have super strength, then maybe a ghost dog sounds more realistic. Okay, so we need to find all three of the circular keys in order to get to the hidden room here. Obviously, we're going to need uh, the two eyes to go back in time. There's a coat of arms piece right there. Let's see. A uh, medicine cabinet. We can open up here. We've got both pieces to the puzzle. So this puzzle, you want to move the things from left to right. So move all these lines to the right and all the snakes to the left. And they can only be moved one or two pieces. So I think I start with the lion. Then I go um, snake. Now I go two snakes here. Yeah, then I go lion, one, two, three lions. Then I go four snakes, one, two, three, four snakes. Then five lions, one, two, three, four, five. Basically what you do is you move an additional uh, animal each time. That way it opens up the final spot for the other animals to jump to. That's basically how this puzzle works. 
And here it's very simple. You just click on the animals from left to right, and then right to left, left to right, right to left, just back and forth until you solve the puzzle. So this gives us another candle and a small mirror. I believe we have all the candles now. Let's actually go to Luisa's room. We're going to put all the candles in place. We are going to light the candles. And we're going to put the mirror in place. This gives us a hidden passageway. This manor is full of surprises. Now it's possible to cross the mirror. Luisa's secret shelter. How could it be? Don't disturb yourself, my friends. Let's continue our investigation. Yeah, let's not worry about the fact that we're in magical impossible rooms, so just keep flipping around. Good plan, Mr. Holmes. So, uh, I think we found everything. All the painting pieces go over here for a puzzle, which is honestly not so bad. Just put all the pieces in place. So here you want to click to rotate the pieces to form a picture of the Hound of Baskervilles. Really simple here. dog's head was mostly already in place, so I think that makes the puzzle easier. It's done here? Hmm, okay. Oh, ah, this piece. That's the piece I missed. Really great work, my friend. And that gives us the marionette rulers, and the location is complete. So this is actually the picture. <laughs> it's the title screen. It's the title screen is the picture. Just to make it a little easier on you, it's the title screen. So the marionette was back here in the past. Giving us a crystal eye. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So we're, we're actually kind of finished. I think we're all done with Luisa's area. Great. So now let's go back to, um, let's see. We have to go to James. Yeah, let's go to James's room here. What am I missing here? Is there... Ah, I'm missing this. Okay, so I need to look at this dark place for the second eye back in time now, everyone. Here we are, once again, some minutes after the attack. If Sir James was killed not long ago, why is there no trace of his body? And what if the animal that has taken his life is still here? It may be somewhere outside. Stay away from the window, Henry. If an animal is responsible for such a mess, it certainly must be big enough to carry away a human body. Do you think that these murders might not be the work of a man, Holmes? No, a man could not do such damage. On the contrary, a man would be perfectly capable of raising an animal to fulfill this type of savageness for him. Okay, so... Yeah, this is really nasty. Okay, and we've got a hidden objects challenge. Well, let's solve it then. A feather. Glasses. A scroll. A skull and glasses. Okay. A poison. Magic lamp. Ooh, magic lamp. I want the magic lamp. I want a genie to give me three wishes. There's a spoon. Okay, well, that's not exactly a magic lamp, is it? <laughs> uh, uh, ah, here we go. There's a hint. Hammer. Circle key. That's obviously the item we came here to find. We need that circle key in order to solve the uh, the puzzle to get to the hidden area. That must be poison. Okay, snake statue. A star and a cane. There's a cane. There's a star. Coins. A lamp. Ah, oh, I found a, a hundred items. Wow, that's good for me. That is not a scroll? How is that not a scroll? Okay, there's a magic lamp. That's totally a scroll, thank you. Um, where are coins? Makes it seem like there's more than one, right? There we go, okay, piles of coins. Where could the scroll be? If that 
that is not a scroll here. There's another scroll. Okay, so there are two scrolls in the screen. That's really something they should have looked out for. I mean, come on, two scrolls on the same screen? That's, that's sort of cheating and unfair.